I've been in business for over three years and the biggest question that I'm asked all the time is how I can sell my services without being pushy and weird. So today we're talking about the seven pushy sales tactics I don't use to be a booked out virtual assistant. But first, I'm gonna get some shaved ice. While we're waiting for the shaved ice that Courtney and I are about to devour, um, I'm gonna give you that first pushy sales tactic, which is not taking no for an answer. I can't tell you how many times I've been on the phone with a client and they tell me that they simply don't need my services and I'm like, okay. There are so many pushy salespeople I don't understand who will not take no for an answer and they're so persistent and ridiculous. Mmm, that is so good. This is delicious. Shout out to Blue Monkey Shaved Ice and 12 South. Okay, the second pushy sales tactic is totally bombarding people with messages. Dude, nobody wants 10 emails from you within an hour of talking to them for the first time. Like, sorry, not sorry, but stop sending so many messages. And on that note, pushy sales tactic number three is not giving people enough time to make a decision. Sometimes people need time. They need time to, to talk to their husband about making an investment. They need time to decide whether or not they have the funds. They, they need time to decide whether or not they actually need the help in their business with a personal assistant. Like, that's okay. Give people space. Let them actually think it over. And you're way better off as a VA if you actually give people time to make a decision and be confident in their decision at the end than by just pushing them into it without them feeling confident. <laughs> mm, that's good. All right. The next one, I don't even know what number we're on anymore. It's fine, it's, everything's fine. But the next one is not letting your customers talk. Okay, I think this is one of the biggest pushy sales tactics that people do all the time, but I have perfected the art of not. And here it is, shutting up. <laughs> you have to shut up when you're on the phone with your customer. Because the problem is a lot of times we feel like we know our customer's problem before we even get on the phone with them. And we're so quick to tell them what their problem is. But here's the thing. Sometimes we need them to tell us what their problem is and then we need to present them a solution to how we can fix it. As VAs, people are feeling overwhelmed. Like as VAs, people have issues and they have problems in their business. You need to hear them out. Let them vent to you. Let them tell you what balls they're dropping in their business and then you can swoop in as the guide and say, hey, I can help you. I hear your problem and here's how we're going to fix it. That is like the best thing I could tell you to do as a VA. The next one, and I know we keep talking about sales calls and everything, but uh, the next one is all about making ridiculous promises. Now this is like so fun for me because there, I can't even tell you how many times I've had people pitch me, like other VAs pitch me to be my social media manager and they'll message me and they'll be like, hey, I'm a VA who does social media management and I can get you 5,000 followers in a month. And I'm like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. And if I had 5,000 followers in a month from your services, I would be sketched out and assuming that you're doing something sketchy. And you probably would be. <laughs> so stop making ridiculous promises. Give your client something that's actual, actually tangible. Give your client something that's actually attainable. And if you reach it and you give them something even more, then great. That's called under-promising and over-delivering. It's an amazing way to surprise and delight your clients. But what you don't want to do is tell them that you're going to get them 5,000 followers and that you only get them 100 and then they're really disappointed in your services. All right, guys, last two pushy sales tactics that I'm going to give you that I have not used to become a booked out virtual assistant. Let's talk about social media. The first one is impersonal mass DMs. Oh my gosh, this drives me crazy. When people will literally message you, I, you've probably gotten this message before. People message and they're like, Hi, my name is Stacy, and I do this. I would like to help you with your business. Here are my rates. Please reach out to me via email if you'd like to hire me. And you're like, who are you? Who is this chick? Or they go on your profile and then they, they like like 10 photos and then they message you that so they feel like you're friends now and you're totally not. Gosh, that drives me crazy. Stop sending mass DMs. It's not going to work in your virtual business. What is going to work is reaching out to people individually, building genuine connections on social media, and then cultivating those relationships until they need a VA and then they will naturally come to you. You don't even need to go into their DMs. You just, they're going to naturally come to you. Okay, now the last pushy sales tactic has to do with this and it's the way that you actually get people to come to you. It's when people are selling without serving first. That is so pushy to me. 
when you know you send a mass email to your email list and you haven't emailed them in six months with anything valuable or you're posting on social media for promotion but every single time you post on social media you're in promotion mode stop doing that you guys it is such a pushy thing what's the best way to cultivate an audience and actually get people to sign up for your virtual assistant services is to simply serve them think about your ideal customer say what do they need help with all right my ideal customer for example needs help organizing they need help creating an unforgettable client experience they need help with touch points for their client experience to make it amazing so think about the different topics that you can cover on videos like this, on Instagram Lives, on Facebook Lives, on different PDFs, freebies, posts, blog posts, podcast episodes, everything you can think of. Serve your clients so that when you're ready to sell to them, they're not going to immediately turn you away. They're not going to immediately shut down because they're used to getting a lot of value from you. So guys, that is what I have for you. Seven pushy sales tactics I have never used to become a booked out virtual assistant for months in advance. Now, if you are curious on how to become a booked out VA yourself and how to learn how to be a VA without using these pushy sales tactics, and you can head to coffeewithchristy.com slash booked out VA, or you can simply message me on Coffee with Christy or VA for a day on Instagram to learn more and ask me any questions that you have. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Mm, this is so good.